All right, so you can see that it's now completed. So we can now immediately go and actually explore the domain. So once again, initial credentials is L faster. So we can find L faster right there. And then we can immediately just R, um, mark this user as owned. And we can see that they have no interesting outbound object control. And they're just a member of the main users and users. So nothing very interesting. We could take a look at the cipher queries right here. So all the domain admins. It's just the administrator. These the saying is just normal groups as well. So Kerberos as well. So there is no Kerberosable users. And in terms of Astroprostable users, there is one. So ADS. So this is definitely our next target. Mm. We can always just check this as well, but it's nice to check with uh, with Bloodhound. So let's see. Shortest path from own objects. Doesn't tell us anything. Shortest path to domain admins. Also doesn't really tell us anything. Because we don't have access to these things, huh? like key admins, enterprise, key admins, etc. But yeah. So we at least have uh, an asupposable user. So that's definitely going to be the next... Uh, the next step. So let me describe a user list. Like so. Awesome. And now we can essentially perform uh, Astro Prosting. So we can take this user list right here with users. We can do password like so. K for Kerberos. And then Astrup and then A. And then... Uh, I think this should work. We can do this with Impact as well, but you can also do it like so. Mm. And then it might be... Perhaps also a good idea to just add the uh, in the server as well. But yeah, so we have this hash. Let's now just uh, try to crack it. So we can see that it added it twice because Netflix seems to naturally append it, but that's fine. So let's use John. Wordless user share wordlist rocky.txt on A. And let's see if it cranks. And it does. So, so we of course have a lot of things to check. Mm. I'm just gonna add some basic notes. Try the curb roasting. Found ADS and cracked hash. Let me just add this as the background process and add initial set of credentials to my notes as well. Initial set of starting credentials. So awesome. Um, one thing I like to do as well is to essentially just make a password list as I get more passwords. It's never a bad idea to just spray this across the network. Mm. Let's make one call just pass. So let's see. Users, 
past. So now we're spraying this across all the hosts in this domain. Well, not that. We'll do it against the IPs. And then we want to do continue on success. So if it finds one pair of valid credentials, we want it to continue checking. Uh, continue on success. Like so, I believe. And let's try that. So we can see that the ADS credentials are correct. El Foster, we already have those credentials. Hmm. We can at least see that the ADS ones are valid, but none of it says it's pawned. We can check with Venerman as well. It's not the cutest output. So. Definitely not. You could do something like this. So. And then dash V to remove, remove this essentially. But then it's just going to show the errors. <laughs> but I also wouldn't recommend this because uh, it's dangerous to do. And sometimes there is a password that needs to be reset, but I think it will even have a minus in it, so I won't really recommend doing this. Um, but yeah, let's also check uh, RDP, because we saw from the NMAP scan, scan earlier that RDP is something that's open on this IP and also on this IP, so both of the clients, but on the 10.4, 10.024, uh, we can see that RDP is not open. So yeah, let's check with RDP as well against all of the users on all of the hosts. And that's awesome. So we can see that both of these actually works. Mm, so we can start with ADS, simply because that's the user that we were able to get last. Mm. But yeah, that's a good sign. So let's see. So I'm just gonna add that to my notes as well. RDP access. So the tool that I like to use typically for RDP access is going to be X-Free RDP. X-Free RDP like so. So the IP that we're going to go after here, let's say that's specific. So it's this one, uh, 10.02.9. So we're definitely going to check both of these, but I'll start with the area simply because that was the first student we had got access to last. It's just a pretty hard like to check it, and we have it in the notes, right? Hmm. Peru 1 to 3. Like so. And then we don't need to carry this drive with us. Hmm. Let's try that. Seems to work. Awesome. So let's see what access we have on this user. So as always, the first thing we check is who am I all. I can also make this bigger for you guys. You can change it in the font. Like you can do something like this. Okay, there we go. So this ADS user, we're access the remote desktop, of course. Remote interactive, interactive, authenticated user. None of that is interesting at all. Okay, so we're not a part of the admin group or something like this. In terms of privileges as well, we don't have too much interesting. SE Shotgun can be interesting, but really nothing interesting so far. The next thing I would like to check is, of course, power up. So let's check with this one right there. 
Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.